Yo, what's good YouTube? This is Zango EDU, and today I'm going to be showing you guys something called the Content Security Policy. Basically, this could be done in two ways. You could use it as an HTTP header, or you could use it as basically another uh, meta tag that you could add to your header. And that is what we're going to do today. So all you need to do is basically just go to your header.php in your WordPress project. And let's check out the example I have over here. So let's say for example, uh, we have this meta tag over here, and this is the syntax for the meta tag by the way, uh, it's meta and then HTTP equivalent, and then the content security policy, and then you're going to start mentioning the content security policy of the content itself. So that is what we're going to be doing today, so we're just going to do two quotation marks, and then the default source. and Itself basically means that you're getting the content from the project itself and unsafe inline basically means that you could add in uh, like unsafe inline and we also have some other links over here that are basically the links for bootstrap so let's say for example I, I remove this okay so if I refresh that we're gonna see that the site is broken right now why because the content security policy blocked the loading of resources from this external source which is basically that's why we add a content security policy so that no one uh, basically add like resources that are from an external resource or try to hack your website this is going to give you just some medium type of security uh, just as an added extra layer to your website so let me remove this uh, meta tag and let me just control z that and i'm gonna show you also let me just save that and refresh what else that you could add to your uh, basically your meta tag all right so if i go back over here refresh that i'm gonna find that the tiles are back and everything is working okay so in order to understand these these are very simple actually if you think about these these are like kind of like attributes uh, these are just some inner strings that are inside an attribute, which is going to be the content over here, as you can see. So basically, we're just passing in these, uh, you could call them, uh, let's check out what they're called, but I think they're just like normal strings or properties. But inside those, you just need to mention which resources uh, you're getting your uh, files from. Like, for example, we have the image source over here. So whatever image source that I have over here, I need to add. As you can see, I have like Cloud Nary, some Pexel images, some Savage Repo images, and same thing in the media source. And also, uh, in the script source, this is basically the JavaScript. I think we could add a comment. Uh, actually, uh, we are not going to add a comment, but like this is for scripts, JavaScript, and this is for CSS styles. And this is also for uh, like extra CSS. And basically, if you have any problem with like your website breaking with this content security policy, just check the logs. Like for example, if you check the console.log, like for example, this uh, script.source, if I remove this, some of the website functionality is going to break. As you can see over the page setting block, the loading of a resource of Bootstrap, which is basically going to right now make the menu not work. Why? Because the JavaScript of Bootstrap is not loaded. The meta content security policy is basically just blocking it. So if I do a control Z, and just as you can see, I just added the link again for the cloud delivery network, which is basically getting the bootstrap styles we're using. As you can see, it's working. So basically, just make sure if you're using like a font from Google uh, font API, like for example, just add in the link that is going to be over here. And that is pretty much it. Uh, for the meta content security policy it is a medium uh, security layer basically to mitigate xss attacks and scripting attacks basically of your header uh, so as you can see and it basically ignores all other scripts like including inline script and eventing, uh, event handling uh, html attributes so basically as you can see as an ultimate form of protection sites that want to never allow scripts to be executed can op optionally out to globally disallow script execution so that is possible as well and in here it's just explaining to you the HTTP header 
and it's explaining also the uh, the meta tag header over here all right so I'm gonna put the link in the description for uh, this documentation over here and here is the uh, uh, like meta examples you can also search uh, CSP which is the content security policy meta tag MDN docs if you want to read more about this yep and here it is also this is basically just gonna show us uh, like the like the examples that are in here over here so as you can see like the font source defines the valid sources for fonts using font face so on and source and like for the images for the media for the object sources like if you're getting objects like from uh, like a back end or whatever uh scripts uh script elements and so on and so forth so as you can see if you have any uh other like uh attributes you want to add you're going to find it over here in this directives basically the fetch directives i'm sorry these are the fetch directives yep for the content security policy so that is basically it's for the content security policy all right comment on like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video all right peace and i'll see you guys out in the next video on next friday peace this was angry video